fucked up. JK and him pointed right at me that day. Yeah, that was really pretty fucked funny, up. <laughs> that is the main image you see when you go to the website. <laughs> What was that about? What was the... Uh... I don't know. I think we were just going to see which one to kill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sexy Puerto Rican. Yeah. Ozymandias was right. That was the shirt. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Oh, that hey, David Lewis had it, by the way. It was awesome. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the basement. Uh, as you can see, I have my Los Angeles Kings hat on because I am a bitter, disgruntled Ranger fan. And fuck the devils. That's all I got to say on that. Yeah, but they lost weeks ago. That was weeks ago that they lost. No. The they played to the Devils. It was like one week ago. What yeah. And now the Stanley Cup is... Yeah, <laughs> what year is it to say? Yeah, tired. It's all right, Steve. Uh, big thanks to Dirty Bunny 987 for, one, having an awesome YouTube name, <laughs> and also for letting us know about a couple Wonder Woman trades out there. Um... League of One. Awesome book. That was really good. Yeah, I actually, awesome I think I did read that um, beforehand, yeah. and I just couldn't think of it. That was that was really good. Basically, Wonder Woman takes on the entire Justice League and beats the shit out of them. Yes. Like, the, you basically see that she is the most powerful member of the yeah. team. She, she's, <laughs> yeah. Because everybody knows she can fuck up Superman because she's magical, and Superman and magic don't go well, She kind of tricked them, but that just shows she's a wonderful strategist. She's not just She beauty. is like a general, basically. Yeah. She's not just, you know, charge in and she's, fight. She's general badass. What? Um, oh, God. She's, you know, like a general kind of woman, you know. Like Amazon? A, yeah. Uh, Amazon like, in general. Like kind the of website? Thing. Yeah. Um, what was the other one? He, he Mortals used, and Gods. Mortals and Gods. It's a, a collection of the first books. Those are two different trades? Um, yeah. No, two. Mortals and Gods. Wonder Woman, Mortals and Gods, trade paperback. It's fucking wordy. It's yeah. how wordy is it? It puts Bendis to shame. Really? Like my hands word. down. Like you just like, oh my god, I'm reading a book. It's <laughs> That's just, not necessarily a bad it's thing. It's not a bad thing, but when you read a comic book, you're like Egghead likes his book you book. Simpsons. What? That's that's all you. That hey. might have been um a dad lip too in the in the episode. I don't remember. Could have been. That's <laughs> really it's still one of the best lines ever. Um, Alex Elwell wrote to us and asked, uh, what do we think of V for Vendetta as a awesome. book? I, absolutely. Pick that up and it's, read it's it. It's an awesome and book. If yeah. you enjoyed the movie, if the movie is, was your first, uh, you know, glimpse into the world of V for Vendetta, then definitely. I mean, it was for me. I read the book after I watched the movie and the book is just absolutely out of this world. It's, you know, it's right up there. It's up there with Watchmen, I would say. It's pretty oh, yeah, it's classic. Oh, yeah, it's a classic. You have to have it. And I'm sorry, like I know like some people will give Watchmen shit like it wasn't that good. Um, get your head examined. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. Watchmen's awesome. Yeah. It's, it's lengthy. It it's it fucking awesome. That good. Uh, it, it, you've always got your dissenting opinioners. <laughs> dissenters, opinion. People of it's, dissenting it's, it's, opinion. It's very political. <laughs> yeah. It's very about the time. Well, that's yeah, the thing. it's very if, political. If, if you, right, if you stay within the time frame, if you're cognizant of when it came out. Cognizant. Fucking hey. Fucking man. That word of the day, toilet paper, is really paying off. By the way, I, congratulations. I wish I'd yeah, no read Red Then White, but Your I... Your first no-hitter in 51 years. Very nice. Took you long enough. Very nice. 51. And every Met fan I talked to was not watching the game. It hasn't been 51. 51 years. Yeah, yeah, you've been around so for a while. What year are we in? 1969. Oh, this is 2012. Oh, Jesus. 50, Good morning, Steve. Not 51 years. We need to replace It's the first no-hitter in 51 years. Oh, okay, years. all right. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I think we, we review comics on this show, right? That's like yeah, that's what yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, Batman Annual Number One. Even though it's got the Night of the Owls thing on top, it's I think pretty much the origin of Mister Freeze. Book of the week for me. It was good. I think it was sick, awesome book. It was. I was expecting shit. To, I mean, I went in there expecting right. shit, but. It was better than shit, and it was know, just good. Always, it wasn't happened. like the regular origin. It was like Mister Freeze as a kid, and you just kind of, you know. I like those Me too. period pieces, like a little He's glimpse into... The childhood or whatever, yeah. or reasons why, maybe. Like a, a before the origin kind of origin, yeah. you know? This was just... And it's a self-contained story. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Pick up Batman Annual Number 1. No spoilers on this one. It's just... It's one of the best Mr. Freeze stories you could ever read. There's it's, a link to Night of the Owls. No, a small link, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not, not, really, it's it's not, not like a major it. thing. Yeah. And the revamp was done well. It wasn't a cheesy revamp. Mm-hmm. Animal Man, annual number one. 
come out this week. Um, this it's just like a side story of like another animal man or something. I don't know how he was given the animal powers, but he was another servant of the red and they him and Swamp Thing fought the rot and it was just like it's like a little side story. Like the, the talking cat <clears throat> from Animal Man is telling his daughter like a story and that's the main heart of the book. Right. I mean it was interesting enough. It has really nothing to do with, you know, what's currently going on in Animal in Man as far thing. as like, you know, advancing that story. So uh, I wouldn't go out and, like, you know, you don't have to buy it. It's worth a read if you can, you know, spend a dollar and download the, you know, download it from the app or something instead Ooh. of spending the $4. What was the cat's name in Alice in Wonderland? Something Shire? Cheshire. 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 Yeah. Cheshire. Not like Cheshire. No, oh. no. Uh, Ravagers, number one, come out, which, uh, you know, I liked the book better when it was called Gen 13. <laughs> yeah, but it's not even that. It's, it's, uh, first of all, the art's, eh. Yeah, I know. I was really honestly like if it's not J. Scott Campbell, I just can't. I don't know. It's not fair. I mean, child. I like Ian Churchill. He did um, for my favorite was Age of Apocalypse. He did one of the X Men books. Okay, loved them since then. He's had some iffy moments since, but this one is just the anatomy is almost lethalish, and Dude. the story is very. Yeah, eh. this is like the culmination of the culling or whatever yeah. the story was. And we, you know, the, that I kind of trailed off on Titans and Superboy and everything. Yeah, because it's. This this group called Nowhere, pursuing them, which is fucking cheesy. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot of cheese in this shit, and it's just not the good kind. Of yeah, cheese, it's just bad. It's just really it's bad. It's not like you know the Kraft Singles kind of cheese. No, it's more it's, like a Limburger kind Limburger. of stinky cheese. Yeah. Kraft Singles are awesome though. They, they are. Really they are. are. Yeah. Does how is, what does Limburger taste like? I don't know. I always wanted to. Find why would you it. eat something? There is a a cheese store up the avenue, and I think we should go to it and see if they have Limburger. Really? Yeah, it's, we, it's a we store want to devoted cheese? to... Cheese is good, dude. I, I love cheese, even though I'm lactose intolerant, lactose intolerant, which causes a whole lot of problems. Yeah. But, but it's uh, worth it because cheese is awesome. Cheese is awesome. Exactly. That's, Limburger is probably something I've never had before. No, I mean, you, you, it, you, it's supposedly the like smelliest this. cheese in the yeah. world or something. Um, and this is not a segue in any way, but... Um, so, Green Lantern's gay. Yeah. Yeah. I think by the time our episode, that we, we were talking about it last week. Not the Green Lantern. It, no, it, one it, of the Green yeah. Lanterns. They said, this is a funny thing. Like, well, the this first is a Green Lantern. was bullshit. Like, but he's not longer the first one. TMZ had their shit of, like, oh, Green Lantern's gay. Nobody does any research. Yeah, one, of the, one of the Green Lanterns is gay. One of the many, many, right, many yeah. Green Lanterns. <clears throat> and it happens to be Alan Scott, the first Green Lantern. Who now, in the DC Universe, is a guy from a parallel dimension in another universe that happens to be a gay guy there. I'd be insulted. No, well, did they do it so that you could read back and go, oh, okay, maybe I can see that, or they just kind of I don't think so. Just like, does he have a daughter in this one? No, it's, it's bad. he can't. I mean, he can, he can. but you know, he shouldn't. Or wouldn't. Or wouldn't. Yeah, Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Which is sucks, because yeah. Jade and Obsidian, it was his son in right. the regular universe, was gay. Okay. And Jay oh, really? was uber fucking oh. powerful. They were both were powerful. They were interesting characters, and now, well, he's just been and aborted. And she fucked Kyle Rayner. Yeah. She, yeah. But now, how does that work itself out? Because that Green Lantern mythos is still all intact. Yeah, there's a lot of things about the Green Lantern mythos that still is funny. If you think about it too long, it's kind of like trying to relate first class to the other three X-Men movies. Okay. And then, like, your brain starts to cry there's, there's a few and holes in 52. A few? Like Kyle Rayner. It's like um, Swiss cheese. Remember Kyle? Back to the cheese. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> remember Kyle Rayner's girlfriend was killed and stuff in the fridge? Yeah, but that wasn't Jade. That was just some fucking Some guy named bitch. Major Force. Yeah. Who's the arch villain of Captain Adam. Captain Adam is just brand new character in the DC Universe. So he never killed that chick. You understand? So there's a big hole. Like who killed the bitch? Nobody knows what's going on. Like no one killed knows. JR. They, 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 yeah, they've done something. It was weird. all a dream. Patrick Duffy was still in the shower. Dallas is coming back. Why? What the what? fuck? Dallas? We're talking about Dallas? It's back already, isn't it? Cheese, Dallas? I was mirroring the other. No, I thought it was back already. Yo, that had one of the ill theme songs, not for nothing. That's all you, man. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's been a few weeks. <laughs> we got to get a lot of the stupid out. <laughs> So the heat it was. Well, actually, like you know, one of the dudes at my job is gay, and he was saying like, uh, in, in the fashion industry, really? Yes. Don't you don't say. Yeah. Um, and he was actually saying that you know this may influence him and a couple of his buddies to actually get into comics, saying that really they have somebody to relate to. I, I mean, no, no, it's true. You should have somebody to relate to in comic right. books, you know, but 
it's being done more as a commercial thing. That's that was my problem. It's like a gimmick, you know? Yeah. Like this North Star thing. He's been gay for forever than a day. I can't believe he pulled up the Dallas uh, he, he would. You can make it stop anytime you like. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Gay's been around in the comics for a while, but it's just never been pushed because nobody gives a fuck about it. And that's kind of the way it should be, you know? Like, why give a fuck? There's more important shit to worry about. It's not a gimmick. It just is. I didn't make fucking. it here now, but to go all crazy, make it a publicity Right, shit, it's not a publicity. It's, it's, it's useless. Yeah. But uh, I guess we'll see how that all pans itself out. Um, on to Marvel. Amazing Spider-Man Annual 39. Um, it's pretty much just uh, another <clears throat> Peter Parker goes through time and Uncle Ben is still alive story. Yeah. Been there, done that. Many, many boring. times. Many, 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 many times. And there's really not a heart, hearty felt, explanation felt, felt. for it at all. <clears throat> I think it was some Horizon Lab thing and it's a pretty fucking useless book. What is this, an annual? Yeah. About 39 annuals. It's so fucking ridiculous. It's been an awful while. Yeah. Uh, we got FF this week. I don't. I kind of stopped reading it. What's up? It's kind of it's funny. It's it's yeah, why? It steered away from the bullshit it was heading into, uh -huh. and the art got better. All right. Explain. <coughs> All right. So you know Johnny Storm is like the rule of the negative zone, right? Right. Well, there's some problems with the negative zone, so he takes the Freedom Foundation, Future Foundation, Future Future Foundation into the negative zone, and there's a revolt going on, and he tries to squash it, and it ends up being they want elections. So they hold elections for a new ruler. And they all unanimous, they does a write-in for Nihilus, and he wins. So he's back to being the ruler. But like, Nihilus wins by like a huge, huge, huge. like trillions. To Johnny Storm's like 42. <laughs> and it's, that's, that's the story. So does he get that little step back? I don't know. Back? Cosmic control rod? Yeah, because yeah, he got I don't it know. to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, but and Nihilus wanna... is still a little kid now, right, or something? Yeah, he's he's definitely smaller and not. Last we saw him, he was on the toilet. Yeah, yeah, the... that was an image. That was that was. Yeah. That was the episode right before the issue right yeah. before, wasn't it? With two yeah. issues before. He's a, yeah, he's on the it's toilet. become like a just a comedy thing. It seems like at this yeah. point. Yeah, I don't think it'll last. <coughs> FF side books issues. never really. Last. issues. That'll be it. But. Well, isn't it all about like the kids or something? It's about the future foundation. So I mean, sometimes they have like Johnny Storms in this every once in a while, or. Spider-Man was in it. Yeah, but the kids ago. and those other weird creatures are not gonna hold the, not gonna hold the book. It's gonna end in a couple of issues, and that's it. You never know. I twenty-three. Issue twenty-three. Done. Twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three. He said twenty-three. Speaking of not lasting, uh, how's the Hulk? Oh, my yeah. fucking dogs driving a car. Yeah. Dogs driving a car. Yeah. That's what you gotta say. Done. I'm yeah, out. Yeah. That's it. No, with, with bitches in the back. Literal bitches. I see what you did there. Curs? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Curs driving cars? So why is the Hulk fighting the Punisher in the first place? Because I, I quit after the last I session. think he lost all his hair and he's annoyed because he's bald now. <laughs> why is he bald? He looks, looks like Adam Hulk now. I don't know why he's <laughs> Sorry, bald. Sorry, Adam. But I, I don't know why no he's hair. bald. I mean, all right, Bruce Banner's doing shit while he's in control. It's, it's so reversed. he ends up in Mexico. Well, it's reversed now. Now he's Hulk all the time and he's got to stay angry because if he gets calm, then he, then he reverts back to Bruce, Bruce Banner. Banner. Which is a nice Which twist. Which no one knows but, I mean, how to fuck. How do you... And it's still crazy Bruce Banner, too. Which uh, annoys me. It's crazy Bruce Banner. So he's Banner. in Mexico doing crazy shit with drug dealers. And it's Smart Hulk. And I, and I don't like a Smart Hulk. So it's like the complete reverse of what we've, we've seen. Well, yeah. I wouldn't call him smart. He is... Well, he's not smart, but he speaks capable. properly. I don't, yeah. like, I don't like that. I like and he, the Hulk smash Hulk. Hulk smash Hulk. He runs yeah. into the Punisher, and the Punisher's keeping him angry by shooting him in the face. Uh-huh. Why, why would he want to keep him angry, though? Because he, he doesn't want to go back to Banner because he fucking hates him. No, but Banner. why would Punisher make, let, let him do that? Because the Hulk's like, look, keep me angry and I'm yours. You know, think of me as a tank. Just whoa. point me where. You know? That's a little, uh, Usually it's him that says the woes, yeah, just yeah, for the record. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really not comfortable with you doing the woes. Especially like, when it comes to Punisher. Yeah, yeah oh, just, I'll, I'll, we'll do it again. I'll say it. So Punisher, you know, he's like, he wants to keep him his. He was like, you point him where you want to go and that's... Hey. <laughs> Ah, so I'm, I'm not as comfortable with that, but it, <laughs> it's the pink shirt. It's definitely the pink shirt. Hey, double takes a strong man to wear pink. I'm double, strong, baby. Double, <laughs> double, moving on, moving, <laughs> moving the fuck on. Double uh, X books. Uh, oh. Wolverine 307. Oh. Wolverine and the X Men 11. That's a AVX crossover, right? Yes. Yeah, um, yeah. And that, that was the only. Uh, then is X Men 29 and Legacy 267. Legacy is uh, crossover. Anything good? No. 
I'm not even reading the crossovers. Oh, it's so like, many. Um, I like so X Men Legacy because Storm. Um, what's her name? Rogue's Rogue? in it. Yeah, Rogue. And ever since her new powers have changed, she's actually better. She can pick and choose what she gets she, from you. She, right. she doesn't get your fucking um mental powers. I mean, your mental your memories. Your memories. There you go. But um, in this one, she kind of does because she pushes her luck, and um, she's fighting the Avengers, and um, Moon she, Knight comes behind her and just uh, like touches whoa. her. So she, yeah. <laughs> So she has to deal with all his personalities. But she manages it in the end and she fucks up like Iron Man as a She Hulk. But it was it was like She became a She Hulk? Yeah. Uh-huh. With that little white hair and shit. Yeah, but I thought you can't she can't just change at the That's not a game. mutant power. That's a that's gamma rays. She absorbed it. No, it was never mutant power. She absorbs anything that his personality. Yeah, no, but was She Hulk right there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well yeah, she's on the Avengers because you know everybody is. Um so that, that's the only good book. I mean, Wolverine's having issues oh, with yeah, memories. Oh, yeah, crossing the Avengers versus... Wolverine and the X-Men is the class fighting the other group. Um, X-Men 29 is the scrolls. There are scrolls still around. Because we haven't seen them. From four years, years ago? So. And right. continuity-wise, it's Storm leading her team against scrolls when, meanwhile... But how much time passed in, in Comic Land? I don't fucking scroll know. I don't, it hurts my head to think about it. Six months? A year? A year and a half? Like, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't know. I don't know. So the X-Men books are just, it's really wait and see what the X-Men books, I would say. How many? How much longer do we have for AVX? Are you serious? It's like 12 books, I think. That's what oh, I thought. It's yeah. every two weeks. What is every it, two issue weeks. four? What's out now? Issue four? Yeah, four. yeah five comes oh, out next week, God. I think. <laughs> Eight more issues? That's the, it'll be 2013. By Wrap it up. <laughs> like, how long, how, basically, like, how long do you have the two teams fighting for before... You know, they realize, There's like, no hey, we shouldn't, we be, shouldn't fighting. be fighting. Let's work other. together. It's just, like, next week should be the whole Phoenix Force on the moon with Hope. I'm not denying the fact that it's like a, like a fanboy's dream come true of the who would win in a fight conversation. Because those conversations that I know from high school never end. Yeah, but you don't have to stretch them out 12 issues. <clears throat> Because whatever you, you do, no, if you do it right, yeah. For 12 issues, though? Yeah, you, you can. Come on. Wolverine against Captain America would be a great single for 12 issue. 12 issues? That's a lot of pages. And for the record, Wolverine should be the shit out of Captain America. No. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, know? guys, who do you yeah, think would win in a fight? Wolverine or Captain America? I think my vote goes to Captain it America. Would be Cap, I think. Hundred years experience, most of it fighting, all types of fighting, and he fights dirty, and he's adamantium laced. What the fuck does he have? A vibranium shield. Yeah, but by that you'd say he beat anybody. Wolverine. Yeah. Cap's stronger though. To a point. No, he's stronger. Not to yeah, he's a point. stronger physically, yeah. but I mean, Wolverine has an adamantium punch. It's harder. This comes down to like Wolverine versus the Hulk and can adamantium cut the Hulk's skin? Yes, but is Wolverine really strong enough to put the claws through the Hulk's hide? Oh, last time they fought was um, Avengers? World War Hulk. And the Hulk just kept on smashing him in his head, turning his head brains into jelly. That's the last that time was they awesome. Fought? So the Hulk, I mean, Wolverine shouldn't beat everybody, but he can't. there's he some guys he should beat. Punisher, Captain America. Well, Punisher's a man. I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah. If Batman didn't have all his gadgets, he should be Batman. That's right. I said it. Well, actually, I agree with you there. there I always said gadgets. that there are two people in comics that can't beat Batman, that Batman can't beat, and that's Wolverine and Captain America. I don't know. I think Captain America gets a lot of hoopla because he's fucking well, Cap America. Cap has yeah. super strength. But I don't think he's, he's also yeah, a he, soldier. He has super... So is Wolverine. Many times. Many generations worth of soldiering. Yeah, but he's tired and old, though. He's not old. I mean, he is we old. We just fell into the pit, didn't we? <laughs> we really did. This is, this is why these conversations never end. <laughs> Uh, one quick honorable mention, but I don't know how honorable this is, the West Coast Ultimates. Yeah, it was mentioned, um, Ultimates number 11 that came out this week. We're not going to review it because it's just a filler, but, um, in the story, it's like Nick Fury had, um, a West Coast secret base for a West Coast initiative of, event, of Ultimates. Oh, I hope this flat man. Yeah, but Remember flat man? Wasn't that, that girl was, or wasn't that the Great Lakes Avengers? <laughs> was that the Great Lakes? I don't know. I don't know. Lakes. Oh, Jesus. Them all up. This was, a there was a Great Lakes Avengers. That wasn't West Coast. That was a great <laughs> fucking issue. <laughs> oh. I don't know. The West Coast Avengers were Mort's too. You ever fucking remember? Yeah, they were horrible. I like that. Bring the Mort's. That's, Mort's a great... Remember what? when Wizard had the Mort of the Month? Yeah. That was awesome. Before they sold out, they were fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh. 
All right, let's move on. Well, we only got IDW and one independent book that's barely worth talking about, but um, it's from a company called Action Lab, and there is a dog with a rocket pack on the... Um, Emblem, whatever yeah. you want. To uh, this one's called Double Jumpers, and I bought it because of these cool little pixelated characters under here, and it reminded me of like Final Fantasy, which I love. Now, is that like Double Jump when Mario, you crouch him down, and he's able to jump it, higher? It's oh, shit. more like fucking World that. of Warcraft, yeah. bro. And I... I didn't like it. It was, first of all, I don't play World of Warcraft. I'm not insulting anybody that does. It's oh, just not my cup that. of tea. Uh, basically, it's just, it struck me as it was trying too hard to be fanboys versus zombies. Like, it was trying to be funny, and it was about these, you know, gamers, and somehow they get sucked into the game, and the characters they were playing get sucked out of the game. Eh. Leave it alone. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna leave it alone. Oh, I like that. 10 XP. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. Some Herbie fat dude scored with this hot other nerd chick, which never would have happened in the first place. Well, so you know some other Herb just, is writing this shit. Was that him? I just saw a naked... Uh... Yeah. Oh. He probably drew it to look like himself, and he drew the girl to look like his one true love that he never fucking scored with. That kind of <clears> thing. <throat> you know, real nerd stuff. Um, moving on. Teenage Redder. I got that, you. That, I got you. That was a good book. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't follow TMNT, but... No, why not? Look at that awesome cover, dude. You know I pick up like 30 books a week, right? Yeah, but... 31 would be too much. This is just the straw that broke the camel's yeah, back. Yeah, it's a good book. You should be reading Ninja Turtles. Like, I don't understand why you don't. But basically, in this one, now in the last issue, uh, we saw Splinter had gotten kidnapped by Old Hob, which was the mutant cat. Right. And then Old Hob got jumped by the Foot Clan, and now Splinter got kidnapped from being kidnapped or re-kidnapped. Re, or, yeah. Um, and now he's a prisoner of the Foot Clan, and they're forcing him to fight... Uh, this big masked dude and like Shredder's kind of recognizing his fighting style and then he's talking about you know you guys are dishonorable I know all about the Foot Clan and you're you know you're dishonoring the clan this is a, a thousand year old clan and you guys are just scumbags and Shredder was like can't be and he, and he calls him out he says Hamato Yoshi and Splinter looks at him and one of them just a really cool panel because like you know he's just a rat and he's got that little like head bop to the side thing that animals do when they're confused and he's like Oroko Saki, and it was, it was just a cool exchange. So they figured out that... He's glowing. I am, man. <laughs> I've been waiting for Shredder for fucking half, like almost a year now. But, you know, and then he takes off his mask and he's like, yeah, I don't know how you're still here. And, you know, Splinter's probably thinking, like, I don't know how the fuck you're still alive either. Like, I got reincarnated as a rat. What's your excuse? So, I don't know. I'm not happy with that concept of yeah. it, but the rest of it is fucking fantastic. So... Yeah, and hopefully by next issue we'll see Splinter versus Shredder. Oh, I think so. Yeah, that'd be hot. It's 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 the last it's pretty issue. Much, this uh, one is setting up. Look at that. Yeah. So hopefully, if not this one, the next one then. The this end one. of next one it'll set up for the fight. Yeah, he has to go through the foot now. They still have to have the turtles find him and everything. It may be com it's probably culminate in issue twelve. You know, just bringing the whole story around for one one year story arc and. You know, then move on. Yeah, probably. Yeah. All right, the art on this is nowhere near the cover of this. No. It's good. But he definitely looks more badass than Snake Eyes. You're treading on thin ice there, you know. Uh, it, it, come on, look at Shredder in this. He looks badass. It's not Snake Eyes. What? Well, I had to buy both covers yeah, of the Snake to. Eyes and Storm Shadow thing because, well, I mean, look at that. That's just fucking. It awesome. is. That's sexy. That's sexy. Yeah. And I'm going to give you that. Shredder looks more badass than Snake Eyes Snake on Eyes. this yes, cover because he kind of looks like he might be pooing. Taking a shit? Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. You know. Did you ever try to go on the toilet the opposite way? Yeah, but doesn't the shit hit the floor? Or the fan, depending on... Nah, it might hit the side. I mean, you know, like this way you can just turn around and just rest a little. Like, ah. Oh. Think about it. Yeah, but it doesn't, it's not made that way. Uh, you never know. Jeez. The shit hit the, hit the, he got it in there? Shit in the opposite know. way. You don't know? <laughs> you know, we've, 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 I don't know. I just stood up, <laughs> I just stood up, washed my hands, and left. It's we discussed today, just. Uh, there's a few people out there that are like, that's fucking brilliant. And then there's another few people out there who know where I got that joke from, too. Uh, so, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, basically, Snake Eyes goes after Zartan, because uh, they find out that it was Zartan that killed their master, um, and it's back to pretty much the traditional concept of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. They're working together. I think Snake, uh, Storm Shadow's, like, you know, right-hand gal over here is a snake in the grass, pun completely intended there, because uh, I think she tried to have Snake Eyes killed, 
And I'm not really th thinking that Storm Shadow knows that she tried to do that, but they were a bunch of, um, you know, Arashikage ninjas here. They're like, you know, you're a legend. Say that five times fast. Hey. You're a legend, you're a legend. It's like, but we have not been told the nature of our mission. Were you to fall, how would we proceed? Death is always a contingency, is it not? And Snake Eyes is kind of turning around like, these motherfuckers is going to backstab me. Right. And then if you just go on to, like, the next page, uh, you know, they're all... He, you know, he, Snake Eyes kind of Snake Eyes. He them. backstabbed them. Yeah, several times over. But uh, you just kind of tell by the look on this bitch's face, like, she's like, oh, you're alive still, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, no, it's fucking awesome. And you get the origin, like, you, you see, uh, you know, some flashback scenes of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow training in the dojo and everything. And, yeah, it's just an awesome fucking book. So good. Where are you getting that tattoo soon? It's very soon, actually. I, I have find a lot of people yell at me for not having that tattoo yet. But of what? Soon oh, enough, the, uh, of the, of the, yeah, the armband. Yeah. Uh, well, since we do have some time, uh, we've got Ghostbusters number nine, new story arc over here. Uh, this book is just fun. If you watched the cartoon it as is a fun. kid... That is a fun book. It's great. I'm surprised I don't read it either. You're not reading this? No. Why? I don't know. What's with you, dude? <sighs> you know, you maybe... Can talk about it? You okay? I think, I think AVX really just... Bad events just hurt me. That's why you got to go to more independence. There's no... I do. I do real... read a lot of images and shit, but it's just... In... Also, Road Rage concluded this week. I haven't uh, managed to read the last issue yet. Kind of flat. Yeah? Kind of flat to anyone there. I think they should have kind of mm. left it, because 3 was just like, why are we still going? Like, I, for me, it, it ended perfectly well with issue 2. Like, as just like, oh, the, that was the trucker. The trucker was the girl's father, and he tried to kill him, and that's that. End the story. Mother trucker? Yeah. Father Is trucker. Is that a crash test on me? Kind of looks like it. <laughs> with a little ghost on it. So... That about does it for this week at the basement, guys. Um, you know the drill. Hit us up. Questions at peachbasement.com, facebook.com backslash peachbasement, and twitter.com backslash peachbasement. I know. I know. I know. Can we just do this way instead? Yeah. Okay. Pretty nice. Yeah. Can you come here? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> We'll see you guys next week. We going? Aren't you usually over there? But you guys are usually over here. Right. Which I'm weird, still here. Because I'm usually over there. Right. And like, this is freaking me. I don't know if it's freaking you This guys. might be, a, like, it you've is. been on the show before, obviously, you know, this is your brainchild and everything. And, you know, you people have seen you in and out of the camera. This, right. I think, is the first time you've ever been at, like at the round table, like mic'd up and everything. Yeah, definitely mic'd and sitting at the table. How's it feel? Kind of strange. Yeah. Yeah, I feel a little dirty actually. Look out there. Do you see them all? People! It's too freaky. Yeah. I don't want to think about that, yeah. Well, uh, so the reason why I'm here is because JK gave us uh, the Tome project to work on and I was doing the uh, next page in the tome, JK did the first page, and now I'm going to uh, reveal that page that I completed uh, last week, and then I'm going to pass the tome on to Pete to do page three. So. I can't wait to see this. I have my idea like completely in my head, and you know, hopefully you didn't completely fuck me over and just you know throw bunnies or something into it. I drew bunnies. Uh, dogs. So let's review. This is the um, this is the uh, text page. The tome is a project by which uh, every page in the book is done by a different artist. The artist who gets it uh, comes up with the next page in the story, and there's no control over what the next page is going to be. You get the book, you go through, you res try to respect what came before it, but move the story forward for one page. So uh, very cool. We're very excited to be part of this project and to start it off this way. Uh, here's the um, the introduction text. Here is uh, JK's first page that was completed and and revealed on the the tome. It uh, was also on the tome.com, which right. is uh, it's t h e dash t o m e dot com. Right. Uh, you can check out the progress of the book on there. And so here it is. Ready? The uh, world premiere of page two of the tome done by me.
Holy tits! How you doing? That is awesome. Tits yeah. and chain. You're a fetish freak. Well, I, I threw that in for you. Of course. You to, thank you. Yeah. That's I fantastic mean, perspective too on the chains. I like yeah. that. Oh, well, thank you very much. This is uh, this is, um, what's that called? Uh, gouache. Aha! Uh -huh. I was going to ask you your medium. It's gouache. It's uh. You know, kind of, kind of proud of how it came out, but uh, you know, it's whatever. I'm most proud of the lettering is hand done with a brush. So that was very scary, <laughs> and uh, and I got through it. I like this guy. Like this is the same old man talking from <clears throat> the first page, and like he's telling his congregation about like you know people being born of blue fire, and there's you know you get the idea that he's like a really a holy man and everything and now here he is about to bludgeon this woman with a bamboo stick for being a heretic and this like i like the dynamic of like the way this guy looks yeah, like he's, he's like, about to wail on her but not only that like it not only the movement of the page but like how skinny and frail that he looks no, and he's yeah. like he's like one of those like a just a deranged old man like he's like ah! like i can you can hear it like the the page really speaks to you and, he, and he's like you know do you renounce your your heretic ways and she's like no no i don't and i i have to say that this is this is really perfect for what i have in mind oh, and it, this is like i really wasn't sure what you were going to do with it and you know i, I know that you, you were perfectly capable of doing something silly and putting bunnies in it but uh, I, I think this is absolutely fantastic i like the scene where he's, he's like really holding the bamboo stick. Uh -huh. you, just, you just get the feeling like he just can't wait to just beat her in the face with this thing. Leave it alone. You know, I've seen some fetish pictures like that. I'm just, I'm just saying. Just throw it out there. That's really great. I can't like wait it. It to do this. Well, that's uh, my part of it. I have discharged my responsibility, Neil. Now <laughs> you discharge yours. Cool. I welcome this responsibility. I will take this tome from you with my hands <laughs> and put it back in its case. Um... Now, after me, I have one artist who is interested in doing, you know, the next page, but um, this is an open-ended project, so anybody out there who is interested in doing this, um, it doesn't matter where you're from, you don't have to be in the New York area, uh, basically this is, you know, the, the funding for the Tome project will cover you on any shipping costs and stuff like that so basically if anyone out there is interested in doing a page for the tome uh please write us at pete's basement you know questions at pete'sbasement.com title it the tome and you know we'll talk about it see you know what what uh how we can get it to you whether it's going to be mailed to you and then it would be you know your responsibility then to either send it back to us and obviously you'd be reimbursed for that or you can, if you have another artist in mind, someone that you know would be interested, and this is basically the idea of the book. This is how A. David Lewis wanted it done, was to, for it to go from artist to artist to artist, and everybody does a page. Guys. Get your letters in, guys. Let's if you want to be a part of the tome, there's still 197 more pages to go, guys. Like Cut a second. Is my mic okay? It's pointing at your neck. That's what I thought. We can put his mic over there, though, can't we? Put his mic on Avenue. That's Mike. When Pete talks, I hear cars going by. This is the mic on the corner with just like yellow cones around it. <laughs> and the caution tape around the cones. Touch on air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Let me get up my ass. Oh. And Steve, you still got an hour. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> oh, Stop mom. doing that. That's scary. I want to, uh, maybe I'll switch. Alright. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Me. <clears throat> me. Yeah. You. Him. <laughs> this may have to be. Yeah, this, this is too tight. Is that what it is? Or? <laughs> Please tell me that was recording. It was. Probably. <laughs> no noise he makes? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Shana na 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 na
Yeah, push. He just fought him. He just fought him. No, I didn't. I pushed a little bit, and it's not. It's it's too dangerous. <laughs> Hurry up, Rod. Never trust the fight. He pushed a little bit. It's dangerous. Speaking of, if everybody will notice in the bathroom, there is a um, dry erase board with the title "Talking Shit" on it. Yeah, what is that all about? Oh, uh, basically talking shit. Just write whatever you want. Oh, when you shit. Nice. Or in the, or just peeing or whatever you you know it is you're doing. Holy tits!